Hello everyone, Kaiser here and welcome back to the next episode of Sid Meier's Pirates. Now, as mentioned in the last episode, the main story arc, I suppose if you want to call it that, is over. We have defeated Montalban. I know that we still have not found one of the remaining relatives, or rather, one <laughs> relative. Uh, I'm not sure who it is, I believe it is our grand... I'm sorry about that, grandfather? We've rescued our uncle, we've rescued our aunt and our sister. I believe our grandfather is the last one. So we've yet to do that. We have also yet to defeat uh, the last uh, notorious pirate, Blackbeard, as well as there are still four lost Inca cities that we should be able to find. Um, what else? Well, the main goal right now is also to, of course, increase our holdings because every time you divide the plunder and when you finally decide to end your career, um, you are also rated uh, in accordance with how much gold you have on you, how much gold you've plundered, how much gold you've divided and how much land you have. So, right now I think we're pretty well off, but I would like to continue playing this game because it really, really is fun. And I have never before tried going for a perfect 120... It's either 126 or 128 points. I'm very sorry, I don't remember what the maximum is. But I would very, very much like to, for once, get that. <laughs> uh, so, if you decide to stick around, welcome, welcome back. And let us get going. Now, we are currently in the port of Veracruz. And if I remember correctly, there is a criminal that we have to capture. Yes, yes, there is. All right. So let's capture him. That's going to be a nice additional few pieces of gold. A couple of thousand, I believe. Mr. P. Connery. There we go. I like that we're still young enough to take down all of these. Alright, what are you offering me? You have certainly earned your reward. Alright, th so 3,000. Uh, do we get any more information from you? Trade with merchants in enemy cities. This will actually come in handy sometimes. Ducking dueling skill. Alright, so he's still in Havana. Right, right, right. Uh, merchant. We can get rid of that. We can... I, I forgot to pay attention to how many guns our ship had. For now, let us keep to that. Two ships. This ship does not have chain shot. Alright, let's get chain shot for it. Uh, talk to the governor. Can we get anything else done? John Lafitte. Excellent. The king will be pleased. Excellent. We are now an admiral. You could uh, Perhaps once you've achieved the rank of baron, you could escort me to the grand ball. Beautiful daughter. Brunette. I mean, the English one, if I remember correctly, is a ginger, but... Okay, yeah, this, one, this one's nicer. I'm actually kind of sad now. <laughs> I always made it a point to keep away from Vila Hermosa, and now I realize that the daughter here is even better. Uh, romance, attracting is beautiful, but it still counts. It counts. All right, villains avenged, 10 out of 10, would avenge again. Lost City's Quest. Uh, yeah, we have one more, so we have one more relative, we have five more treasures to find, one more pirate to defeat, that would be, uh, Blackbeard, currently wealth points, we have roughly half of what we should have, uh, we are an admiral with the Spanish, a marquee with the Dutch, so we have to get one more, um, one more promotion from the Dutch and four more from the Spanish. Defeat one more pirate, find five more treasures, find one more family member, and find the rest of the lost cities. If we do a quick calculation here, so 10, 20, 36, uh, 40, uh, 52, plus 9 equals 61, plus 9 equals 70. Uh, this is what, 102 and 24. So 126 is the maximum we can have. There we go. We finally found the right number. And that is exactly what we will be going for. Uh, so what do we do next? We have to pick that. Jean Lafitte, that is Santiago. All right, so Santiago, you are in Santo Domingo. That's pretty close to Santiago. Uh, didn't I just... Wait, so you're in... Oh, St. Eustatius, all right. 
you are in Havana, hopefully, still, and Shawshank, you're down there. Alright, so let's head first to Havana, see if we can, might find Raimondo there, then let's go to Santo Domingo and Santiago, find the treasure, uh, get that villain, and hopefully, hopefully he's still in Havana and we'll be able to get Raimondo as well, get some information about the last relative we have to rescue. Oh wow, we are just heading straight, straight into the wind. This is not fun. And we ha still have such a long way to get there. Wow, alright, guys, you know what? I'm actually gonna make a cut right here, and I'll see you once we are closer to Havana. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Welcome back, guys. Here we are. We finally made it to Havana. Now, believe it or not, it took me about five minutes of silent sailing to get to here. Wait, no, that's San Francisco. San Francisco? Oh, nice. San Francisco. All right. There is Havana, but I do not see any signs of Raimondo being in the vicinity. Alright, so apparently we will have to check the economy flourishes. Excellent, just before I'm about to enter them. I mean, enter the port. Yeah. Alright, so... How do we get stuck on that, really? Alright, let's enter it. See what is up. Governor... Someday you will be attractive daughter. All right, sure. Let's do a dance. I'm curious what she can tell. What? Oh, I misclicked. Didn't have my hand on the right keys. All right, so it doesn't matter if we really mess up anymore. We've done everything we have to. I just wanted to check if we might still get any um, promotions for free. Apparently not. We're still going to have to fight another faction for the Spanish. Because we are now out of pirates, except for Blackbeard. Now, while I'm sure that defeating somebody like Blackbeard warrants a promotion, I'm not sure whether or not the AI would agree with me. This is not really challenging, so... I, I suppose... Once you defeat Montalban and come to the realization that there is really no bigger challenge left in the game... You kind of get bummed, but still! With the goal of finally completing the game with the maximum possible score... It is definitely something that I'm looking forward to. There we go, what do you got for me? Shawshank Petit Guave. Alright, we'll head to Petit Guave then. Uh, visit the tavern. Does Bob have anything for it? Escape from captivity. No, that's fine. I already have the lockpick. Uh, the Lady Copper Plating. From Santa Catalina to Havana. Set sail from Villa Hermosa. From Villa Hermosa to Havana. So he's on his way here. Alright. Alright. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, why did I re... Okay, okay. That, that's not what I wanted to do. Shipwright, that's what I wanted to do. If I get rid of this ship... Yes. Because I don't want this uh, number of crew, really. Oh, so this ship only holds 90. Uh, 90 tons. Alright. So, sail away. We, uh, okay, so Florida Keys. Let me just check because I forgot where Petit Guave is. Oh, okay, so down there. So, next thing we're gonna do is head to Santiago, I suppose, and find the buried treasure. After which, uh, let's see. We can go to Petit Guave then, get this guy, Santo Domingo, there's somebody there as well, right? San Juan. Like, I really don't just wanna 
hover here and wait for uh, uh, Raimondo. Like, if he already left a month ago and he's still not here, like, I'm... I know he's sailing towards the wind, but I really don't want to just wait for him. I really, really don't. Alright, so... The economy flourishes. They're getting a lot of governors, but the... It's like the second one since I got here. Alright. Uh, this is actually gonna take a while again to, <laughs> to get to Petit Guav. Uh, we said, yeah. Sa okay, Santiago first, but it's still gonna take a while because, once again, we are sailing towards the east. As such, guys, I will make a cut right here and I will see you in a bit. Alright guys, so welcome back. We are at Santiago and if I'm not mistaken, Dagger's Rock is the landmark. Yes, it is. Alright, so let's actually head right there, anchor, and get our hands on Lafitte's treasure. Yes, we will anchor here. Alright, let's see. Uh, what are we looking for? So Dagger's Rock, Inca Temple, Indian Totem, Arch Rock... Alright, so that's one arch rock. There's supposed to be two. Wait, that's one. There's supposed to be two. That's the other one. Alright, so it should be somewhere in the middle. Uh, is it? Yes, it is. There we go. So here is Lafitte's treasure. Let's see uh, just how much he actually had. Seven thousand gold pieces. All right, that's that's decent. That's pretty decent. It's gonna help our total. All right, so that's Santiago. Next up, Petit Guave. Is it below this? Yes, it is. So I have to go back. The economy flourishes. See, we're not attacking them anymore, and suddenly their economy uh, their economy is flourishing everywhere. It seems. <laughs> oh, we are almost out of food. Hmm. That's not good. That's very bad for morale, actually. Alright, so let's head to Petit Guave. Our men are still very, very happy. Like, they, they're they earning a lot of money in a very, very short amount of time. We've only been at sea for 27 months, or so two years. For you to get that much money in two years, like I bet anybody would be glad. <laughs> Alright, so the French are not at war with the Spanish anymore, it seems, considering the fact that a trade galleon just entered their port. Alright, let's get some food. We're only able to get four months worth of food. Repair the ship. Yeah, we kind of hit one or two um, one or two storms on our way here. Visit a tavern. Bob, you got anything for me? Blackbeard's buried treasure. Excellent. Search in... Sure. All right. Thank you, Bob. I tremble with apprehension, Kaiser. It said you're now the first most notorious pirate. Yes, I am. It's pretty quiet here. Right. Almost forgot what we were here for. Shawshank. Uh. There we go. Kick him off. And then we're just kind of D words <laughs> we kicked the guy down from a balcony basically <laughs> picked him up and told him to continue fighting us theatrical disguise will encourage you to o will encourage you to overlook the overblown charges against me uh i don't even know what that is so no nope, you must stand trial i'm i'm going to prefer the 4000 gold my friend uh, talk to the governor, wait, no, we're already at maximum with them, we don't need to talk to the governor, I think, at least. Uh, okay, I think we actually missed those, nice. Right, so next stop, uh, that's in St. Eustatius, Havana, I'm clicking this guy, Mr. Connery, in Santo Domingo, alright, let's head to Santo Domingo, and Maracaibo, no, we're not heading there yet. 
Alright, so Santo Domingo, next stop. Pirates attack the city of Leogan. Mountains of gold. Ah. Alright, so Lafitte. Lafitte, Lafitte, Lafitte. We defeated him. We got his treasure now. He is about 120 years too soon in this game. <laughs> uh, let me put it like this. The guy was alive during the American Revolution. And he helped the US during the revolution. But after that, uh, began spying for the Spanish. Was trialed and, well, I believe he was killed. But I'm, I'm actually not sure about his end. Very sorry about that. But yeah. Just a little bit of trivia for you. Bob, thank you very much. I will gladly take it. Santiago, all right. Then we'll head back to Santiago and find Blackbeard's treasure as well. Excellent. Yes, he must answer to me. Rapier. Let's go. Parry. Kick off. Not letting him rest because we are in a hurry. There we go. We continue to defy physics. Ooh. Uh, shrunken head. Oh, you must stand trial. Uh, that is about it. Can we upgrade this ship any further? No. Let's get some more food. I really need to get into a uh, firefight. I mean, a ship fight. Because I want to know if I can get, have only 40 guns or if I can have 50 guns. Or does it? Or does it actually say here? No, it does not say how many guns we can have. Too bad. Uh... Okay, we're we're fast. I I'm liking this. So they're heading for Santo Domingo as well. Petit Guave. Wait, who are the Spanish at war with? Only with the English, really. You want me to fight my wife's faction? I mean, I guess we could. But then I won't be able to... Ah, decisions, decisions. I was gonna say we won't be able to divide our plunder in Port Royal. Which I would really like to do, just for vanity's sake. I mean, storyline's sake. Wait, that's Port Royal, alright. Accidentally almost. Missed Santiago. Treasure ship. I mean, it's a treasure ship, guys! I have to... And I have to lose some men, too. <laughs> but I do not have to get my ship ruined. Well, we lost one. Oh, no. I fired way too soon. We were not in range just yet. But the reload time with, these, with this amount of men, though. Alright, let's get him. Yeah, there we go. Rapier. Ow! Chase. Right, I never continued, I mean, finished the story about uh, Lolone, did I? Basically, yeah, he was a pretty, pretty bad guy. He kept killing and uh, apparently... Uh, one of the stories goes that when he was trying to find a way to raid one of the Spanish cities, he captured two of the guards that tried to stage an ambush on him. There we go, some more gold for us. Excellent. Uh, towards Santiago we go. Uh, and in order to get the other one to talk, he apparently killed the first one. Well, not even killed him, but simply cut into his chest tore out his heart while he was still alive, and then just gnawed on the apparently still beating heart of the now dead Spanish uh, guard. The other guard w was so terrified that of course he told him uh, how to get to the port that he was trying to sack. Uh, the natives considered him an abomination on earth and uh, decided to basically D delete all traces of him and they believed that the only way to do that was to cook him and eat him and the bone parts burned and thrown away there it is Blackbeard's treasure excellent so yeah he met a grim end 
just like he lived a grim life. Nine thousand gold pieces. Excellent. Excellent. All that's left now is to find black. Actually, find Blackbeard. Do we try to go to Havana now? I mean, it's been a while. Maybe Raimondo is actually there. Maybe. Just, just maybe. Then again, are there any cities on our way there? No. All right. Let's just head up there then. But yeah, it's still a long voyage, guys. So even though we are sailing quite fast, I will still make a cut right here until we get to Havana. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, welcome back. Here we are at Havana, and it seems like he either still is not here or he beat us to it and just already left. We will check inside, though, just to make sure if perhaps they have some information where we could find him. That's not him. All right. Very sorry if you guys actually heard that, but apparently we have thunder here. Uh, that bodes ill. <laughs> but it should be fine. It should be fine. Alright, into Havana we go. So let's see. Tavern. Let me see what they have to say. But set sail in the direction of Santiago. Now you're just messing with me. <laughs> Henry Morgan's... Buried treasure. Excellent. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, merchant, let's get some more food. Uh, spi wow, those spice prices. They're awesome. Let's get about that amount. Let's sell. We're, we're gonna be towing one of the ships with us. The treasure galleon that we got just now. Uh, any upgrades? No, but we can fix them. All right, let's leave in the direction of Santiago. Uh, I just uh, it, mm. that was probably a bad decision on my end. Now that I think about it, let's head to Florida Keys and get. Is that Florida Keys? It is. All right. Let's just get our ship fixed. This was this was an unnecessary, very very unnecessary uh, detour. All right, shipwright fixed, but at least it's free. Cotton sails, excellent. It'll be a bit faster, I think. Uh, visit a tavern, Bob. You got anything for me? No, that's not necessary. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're kind of in a hurry. At least I'd say so. Right, one thing I forgot to mention, guys, when I was talking about uh, Lolone, is the fact of how some of these pirates were intermingled. Uh, Lolone, apparently, during one of his, um, well, anchorages, I suppose, if you want to call it that, uh, during one of his short stays on land, he actually sold his ship, or one of his ships at least, to Rock Brasiliano, who you will recall is in this game and we did already defeat. And Rock Brasiliano used that ship to sail with Henry Morgan. So yeah, all of these guys were somehow connected. <laughs> to some degree at least. Uh, wait, Santiago is down there. Alright, sure, let's head down there. I will make one more cut right here, guys. Once we get to Santiago, if Raimondo is there, excellent, we will get him. If he's not, I will end the episode right there. But let us see if he's there. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Welcome back, guys. We have finally made our way to Santiago. And indeed, there he is, the evil Baron Raimondo. He's already firing at us. Excellent. He knows what he's in for. This is the first time I actually have enough men, uh, I mean, more men than he does, which is great. So, fire. There. Rapier. 
we need to find our grandpa, and you have the information. You must go down. There we go. Alright, your quest to restore your family. Lost grandfather. Um, Yeah, we're gonna have to hunt him down once more, it seems. At least once more. We are going to keep the ship. We are going to try and sail into Santiago if they don't already hate us again. For defeating Raimondo. So far, so good. Alright, we're in. Let me see if this guy... Alright, I mean, we do have the silly mustache, and I was once again not paying attention to how many guns we have. God damn it! <laughs> Alright, guys, but as promised, I will be making a cut right here for the episode. So, as always, if you like what I do, please do consider leaving a like, share with your friends, and do subscribe to make, sh uh, to make sure you know when the next video is up. I'd also very much like to hear your feedback, so please leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to check it out. And until next time, as always, guys... Ad Gloriam.